Hi, Brian. Hi, Brian. Hi, how are you doing today? Good, Good. how are you? Excellent, great. So uh, first of all, I was curious if, um, I mean, after after Playing House, I was curious like, about when you guys came up with this idea. Was it like before actually Playing House came, came aboard, or can you talk about like what kind of spawned this idea? Yeah, we had this idea, you know, when we come up with our, our TV projects, we basically get together in one of our living rooms, we put on a pair of comfy pants, mm -hmm. and then we just watch an Oprah's favorites that I've saved, and we just watch five minutes of it at a time <laughs> to sort of like as to it's entice as nourishment. ourselves. It's as nourishment. Yeah. And so um, we had we both came to the table with a bunch of ideas, and then the last idea that was thrown out, Jess was like, "This is kind of a crazy idea, but what if the two of us raised a baby together?" And I was like, "That's not crazy. That's the best idea you've ever had." And and then in ten minutes we had basically you know written the first season yeah, or we come up with ideas with for the ideas first for the, it was so easy to do that and and when we when we when we get an idea that's right we know it's right because we immediately start brainstorming ideas we knew we wanted to tell an authentic realistic portrayal of two best friends girl best friends and almost have it be a romantic comedy but starring two women and so this was just a perfect situation to put them in where they're both at crossroads in their lives mm -hmm. and so how are these best friends going to come back together and help each other lead their best lives basically so i was curious like in the in the i, I saw the pilot and i really enjoyed it but okay, i was curious thanks. About, i was curious about how much of um i guess the backlash of emma's decision will will we see in the in future episodes well, you know, it's a really good decision that she's made, and so we everything that happens to her, I mean, certainly she left this hometown, and she went to Shanghai, and she's been living, like, a very international life, so coming mm -hmm. back home and, like, facing all of the kind of loose ends, she has a high school boyfriend that she left sort of in the lurch, and mm -hmm. she's going to kind of become friends with him again, and that will be interesting. She's going to confront her mom, who she had sort of stopped talking to, and and in the actually, when you see her mom, who's played by the fabulous Jane Katzmerich from Malcolm in the Middle, um, oh, nice. she let, uh, my character thinks that she's cut off contact, but she finds that her mom is hiding from her. So, mm -hmm. so the two of them end up, you know, becoming close again. Mm -hmm. So it's really a nice story about someone coming, coming home, home and, and realizing that it's actually nice to have people depend on you yeah. and know your name. Yeah, and so the two characters are really learning from each other. My character is also learning from her about, you know, taking risks and kind of becoming the better the person because choices that I made, say, when I was in my early 20s, they weren't necessarily the wrong choices, but maybe now I'm making new, different choices that will lead me to a happier life. Okay. So I was curious if, if either of you came from kind of this, this, this Main Street USA, small town kind of, kind of environment and if you pulled a lot from your own upbringing for for the for the town in the show well I grew up in a, in a small in a suburb of Atlanta for sure but my family is from a, a, a very small town in the middle of Alabama called Union Springs and Her it parents is met when they were how old babies babies and then they started <laughs> dating in, in junior high yeah so um, so that is this, the sort of thing where there's one street, one downtown, and everybody knows everybody's name. And but everybody also takes care of each other with such love and and commitment. And and you feel like your friend, if you can take care of them, it's like your job. It's like their family, yeah. extended family. And I grew up um, going in the summers to a little town in New Hampshire called New London, where everybody knew everything about you and every time I tried to do something bad usually involving going into the woods um, <laughs> a woman named Mrs. Adamson an old woman would literally within five minutes my mother knew every detail I don't know if she had like a high-powered binoculars or what it was but she was on me like yeah. white on rice so we sort of um, wrote her a little homage in the show as yeah, well yeah so we have a little old lady who is in her Mrs. 90s Johansson. who plays Mrs. Johansson who's always commenting on our business and calling <laughs> Jessica a man yeah for no reason. Her eyesight isn't so good. She continually thinks I'm a man. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so I'm curious. I, I love the cast. I mean, they're, they're, especially with Keegan and Zach. And oh. I'm curious about how what other guest stars uh, – Besides, besides Jane that you already mentioned, will be showing up in the in the future episodes. Well, something that we did to make this job really easy for ourselves is we um, we cast all of our best friends from the Upright Citizens Brigade Theater, which is the theater sure. in New York founded by Amy Poehler um, and three other fabulous gentlemen that we decided, you know, basically let's just cast our best friends from there and then they can come in and improvise all these amazing lines for us. 
So Bobby Moynihan from SNL mm -hmm. will be appearing. Andy Daly, who's currently in review with Forrest McNeil. Oh, yeah. yeah, I play his wife actually on that, but he comes yeah. and plays our divorce lawyer that I end up having sex with in the back yeah. of a Toyota Highlander. Ian um, Roberts, one of the founders of the UCB as well. Jason Manzukis from The League and The Dictator. Yeah, it's um, just every week there's a new, you know, co alternative comedy rising star that you're obsessed yeah. with will come on and, and basically play their dream role because we wrote, we wrote it, it exactly. For them, for them. them in mind. We get a lot of them to take their clothes off, actually. <laughs> <laughs> we do. <laughs> They That's do awesome. like a magic mic style strip show and the it cops, is the town cops. The most attractive thing you've ever it's seen in your really, life and the it's funniest. Phenomenal. <laughs> Excellent. So just to wrap up, like what would you what would you like to say to anyone who might be on the fence about playing house or why they should uh, tune in on April 29th? It's gonna make you feel good. At the end of the day, you're gonna watch the show and you're gonna be really happy that you watched it because it's gonna make you laugh, it might it might touch a heartstring, yeah. and it's gonna make you wanna call your best friend or hug your wife. Yeah.